one day, the crocs decided to kill me at one point. I almost died, y'all. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, hi guys, my name is Ismail and you're watching Chip by Apli. Today I want to share with you my updated shoe collection. I felt that the shoes are getting too much, so I kind of want to downsize. I realized that I only have a pair of feet. Bummer. Secondly, it was because uh, as I'm getting older, my feet is getting wider. So disgusting. Most of this awesome shoes that I've had before, I can't actually wear them. Kind of pointless to actually keep them. Last but not least is because I don't want to look after too much shoes. It's so much work to actually look after all these shoes. So I was like, uh, really. I've actually sold a lot of my shoes on carousel and I'm quite lucky because most of the shoes got sold and I'm actually quite happy that people buy those shoes even though my heart breaks that I have to actually let them go but the fact that people wanted to buy my shoes means that I actually have great taste. Action. These are some of the shoes that I've sold on carousel uh, as much as I miss them but I'm happy that they are going to a new owner so goodbye shoes. Let me share with you the shoes that I'm actually currently selling. I've actually listed them on carousel. These are like some of the balance that I'm hoping that people will still be interested to buy. The first is this pointed leather shoe from Helmut Lang when Helmut Lang was designed by Helmut Lang himself. Love this shoe but I can't wear them anymore. My feet grew and I have it in black with no laces. I love the shoe so much that I actually bought like a knockoff pair from J West and I actually wear it for work. So yeah. This 57 for this was kind of like an impulse buy because I saw a model wear it and said, ah, oh, so nice. Unfortunately, my feet is made in Taiwan and these shoes are made in China. So the countries clash. Actually, it's because this, this part of the shoe here is kind of like pointed upwards so when I walk right so it's like uh, it's not comfortable for me so currently I'm into this clocks face it's like those Boston Birkenstocks but they were so expensive that I decided to chance upon something more affordable so this is from Pedro Pedro is a Singapore brand um, I actually bought this because I like the design but they're all right I mean Mm, yeah, these clocks from ASOS, I actually bought it for work but they were quite tight. I have white feet because my feet is made in Taiwan. It actually hurts my feet a lot so I have to sell this away. And because I don't want to invest in the original Birkenstock, I decided to buy this uh, from Astra. This Sherling Birkenstock looking thing. It's alright, I wear it for my birthday. And that birthday is over, so so brother's on a budget. He cannot buy the original fear of God. So I decided to just buy this to see how it feels like. I'm pretty sure the original will not do much difference because I have white feet. So this I cannot. This beautiful helmet length sandal. I think I've worn it out once. I really like the design and everything, but because this was bought like thousand of years ago, so I I grew. Whenever I walk, my feet keeps coming out. A good friend of mine came to visit and then I offered to him. It's the same problem. Like, he couldn't, like, maybe someone with a smaller feet, I think it'll be fine. So, yeah, I have to let this go as much as I love them. And when Miu Miu was making menswear, I never worn it out once. So, yeah, what's the point of keeping them? So, I'm gonna sell this away. So, now I'm gonna share with you some of the shoes that I'm currently wearing and I'm planning to keep at the moment. Since I'm in this clock phase, I decided to buy this ASOS leather clocks. It has this gold chain. It's like that J.W. Anderson kind of clocks. I thought they were so cool, but it was I, I can't afford it. So I decided to chance upon this. They are quite white. They're not like the most comfortable thing. Yeah, bummer. Currently, my go-to footwear is the Crocs. They are like the most comfortable thing ever. I was at work minding my own business. I decided to walk on the floor which was slippery because it was wet. And then like a stupid loser. This is the floor right and this is my feet. And then my feet was just like I couldn't keep my balance. I had to break my fall on our wrapping table which is was like like a few feet away. I was like oh shoot. My body just slammed into the wrapping table. It was so painful, you all. I thought like something happened here. 
there was a dog there. The impact was so great that the dog was like barking so loudly and I was the only guy there because Wait, I'm the only guy. Yeah, I'm like the only guy working there except my manager. Ismail, are you okay? I'm fine. Like, <laughs> fuck it. As much as I was in pain, I was like, oh my god, this is the most embarrassing thing to ever happen to me. It's alright, y'all. <laughs> it's so painful. So I threw those shoes away, the bloody Crocs. Because of that incident, I decided to buy this knockoff version, which is like so much better. It's actually wider in a way i haven't worn this yet because i have the black version <laughs> so i bought two they're okay like you know if i want to go somewhere nearby this is fine because i love the croc so much as much as it was trying to kill me maybe i should not buy the same pair i should buy a different one so i chanced upon this mellow slides this is like the new crocs version of their sliders is it comfortable yes but i also decided to buy the normal sliders from crocs honestly this is much more comfortable for my white feet because if you can see this is obviously so much wider than this one this is my go-to shoe currently so it hasn't killed me yet i almost fall again because it's slippery crocs do something i almost died again so i wear my sliders but when i reach work i will put on my adidas sneakers and then when i go home i wear this again but because this was trying to kill me so i have a backup this also <laughs> i must walk really slow and even though people might think that i look like a fool trying to not sleep who cares this is my asos chunky sandals i love these sandals i haven't worn it out yet because where am i going with this i actually bought one that doesn't have this and it only has the front and it was so difficult to walk because my feet keep coming up and then with this thing it's so much more comfortable plus the platform this all this foam um it's very comfortable when i walk in around the house it's fine i don't understand why they must have this design here like when you put in your feet like why like just do it without my goodness you cannot get everything perfect right so okay but i actually like it so i'm trying to wear this out see if it works and if it's not working for me i probably should sell it so most of the shoes that i decided to sell is because i can't wear them but there are some shoes that i love them so much even though they're like quite painful i still can't let it go yet like for example this cdg sneakers i actually bought this with my best friend so we have like a couple sneakers I don't know whether she still have it but as much as this hurts right it's comfortable when you put it on and when you walk and then after 10 steps it's so painful for people with white feet but they look so good like they, they match with everything I don't know what's up with this shoe because I paid so much for it that like, okay, maybe I will just keep it if I'm not wearing it maybe for the memories but my niece she's even wearing my clothes right now because she likes oversized clothes and she's a bit of a tomboy so i probably give this to her if her feet grows any more bigger so i probably would keep this for her so i decided to buy this Oz is it i think this is the ozilia i kind of forget they're actually quite quite comfortable they're not like the best they're not like oh they're like mm, it's okay for a person with white feet i felt that this shoe is quite comfortable it's just that the laces are so slippery that they constantly untie by themselves for a pair of sneakers to just they're all right i also decided to buy i forgot what it's called so if you compare with this converse it's obviously more wider so it's actually very comfortable it's just that i'm probably not used to wearing a lot of sneakers because i don't own a lot the best sneaker that i had was this fly knit nike sneakers the fabric was so comfortable i should probably invest to look for something similar at the current moment i actually have this because i'm actually cool with it i actually really like the color and the design and they are they are like okay so yeah another pair of shoes that i decided to keep is this clocks i don't know why ever, ever since i bought them it's like my favorite shoe it's the most good looking shoe it's like it's like Brad Pitt in a shoe. I don't know. I don't really reach out for this shoe. If there was like an event or a wedding that I had to wear this kind of shoes, at least I have a pair. So last but not least is this pair of sandals. I haven't actually worn it out yet. I decided to buy this because I needed like a sandal maybe for Raya to actually match with your traditional outfit. And when I wear it around the house, it's actually very comfortable. I don't know how comfortable it is when I wear it like physically outside and walk around. But at home, when I was just trying it out, it's actually very comfortable. It's one of those 
shoes that I paid for and I'm actually quite happy because I didn't pay a lot and I actually really like the design and the comfort and everything so yeah okay guys that's all for my shoe collection I hope you enjoy watching this updated version until I see you in the next video bye oh, okay, okay. how long is this